playing F2 Tex versus Levi. Our Xbox Grand Final is underway, and this is going to be one you don't want to miss. 7,382 Global Series ranking points separate these two players coming into the tournament. It really is a phenomenal chance for Levy to prove what he's got against the best in the world. He can just shoot up the leaderboards with a victory here. Well, here's R9 then on this left-hand side. Vieira on the ball now. You can see Hullet was there, and there's the first time shot from oh Tex. My. First shot, first goal. F2 Tex is off the mark. Oh, dear. We are in for a treat in this Xbox final if we're going to see more of that. I was speaking to Buckley backstage, and he said, I think this could be an absolute route from Tex. If he manages to get the first couple of goals, he's going to be absolutely streaming here. He didn't stop One thing it. I've learned from both of these players throughout this tournament is what they offer in that final third. They're both very creative. They're both very good with linking up their skill moves. We could have a goal fest, but at the same time, if Tex is feeling confident, you know he's going to pummel his opponent. Yeah, this is the kind of mood that Tex wants to be in. Starting off hot here, especially kind of just stifling the momentum of Levy's as I say, we've been lauding praise on him after his performances so far. We're going down one. We're going to have to still see if he has that steal to grind out a result and come from behind now. And Tex is on the attack again now. Neymar with the drag back. Taking a little page out of Levy's book from what he's produced so far in this tournament. But well defended by him. And here comes the Dutchman coming forward now with Vieira. And you know he's going to be trying to answer back instantly. The longer this game goes on that he's behind, it's just going to give more and more confidence to Tex. But look at this. Skill moves inside the box. That's what Levy has shown us in the tournament. He can do very similar things with the ball that Tex can. And I love what I saw from Tex defensively there. He didn't dive into the challenge. He almost stood off of the man. Just waiting for that turn. Maybe predicting a drag back and getting pulled out of position and overcommitting early on. So good signs defensively from Tex. And now he's going up the other end with Neymar. On inside now to Mbappe. You can see again, Hullet and Vieira just waiting on the edge of the box, marshalling that space. R9 turning, a little back heel almost found its way through, but well defended by Levy. Now he comes away with the big Frenchman in midfield. And it's very difficult to defend against Tex. I mean, I know that's obvious at this point, but you have to step up against him. You have to actually try and win the ball back early because if you do step off, if you allow him to just have the space in the box, he's going to pull out Croquettes. He's going to pull out Elasticos. I mean, we saw what happened in Atlanta. Four Elasticos back to back to score one of the greatest goals I've seen in quite some time in competitive FIFA. That's what he's got in his locker. And this is where he's dangerous. These fullback areas, I talk about it so much because when he's able to isolate one of the fullbacks in a 1v1 situation, especially if they're being defended manually, he's just deadly, Dan. Deadly could be his middle name at this point. It's the amount of goals that he scores in tournaments. I mean, that one goal there is his 339th across the season. That's across 63. This will be his 64th match. That really is an incredible statistic. Well, here comes Levy then, looking for a chance of his own. And Neymar's in a bit of space here. Almost gets the ball back from Ferdinand. And Ferdinand again showing why he's held down that centre-back spot for so long for Tex. And it's all tournament long. That's like Ferdinand has just been constantly there in the right place at the right time. And even Tex said it himself. He's got a mind of his own sometimes. And he could just rely on him to get the job done. Mbappe then bursting around the outside with the fake shots. Pulls it back. Single seven was waiting there. Looking to pounce to double Tex's lead. And this has been end-to-end -end so far. This is what we expected from two very aggressive attacking players. R9's going to collect the ball inside the box now. What can Tex create here? Can't quite get past Vieira, but now he's found CR7. There's a man in the middle here. Neymar, can he find the space? Well defended, though, by Ferdinand. At the other end for Levy. And now Messi can bring it away. Levy's doing really well to contain Tex. Tex is always looking for that drag back to get that little bit of space and then go for the low-driven. Uh, timed green, often with Neymar or Cristiano Ronaldo, but Levy's not allowing it. He's attacking the back of the defender rather than uh, approaching the front and jockeying. And he needs to do more of the same, but Tex is one of these players who is very good at reading his opponent. If he notices that's the defensive is. method, he's going to change things up. Unfortunately, though, for Levy, that ball, as good as it was, the player was just beyond the line there and got caught offside. You have to say, Dan, even at the start of this game, every single time that Levy has gone forward, he's looked super dangerous. But speaking of danger, here's R9 now. 
Is he going to take his man on? Will he look for the cross? He drives inside and well defended there by Levy. His decision making had to be perfect. So good. And it was. You could see he didn't know at first whether he should chase the man, whether he should follow and track the runner. Instead, he kind of sat in the middle and then he committed right at the last moment. Just a little bit unpredictable with the court tax off guard. Here's Marcelo then in this left. Advanced position on the pitch. Marcelo now turning back inside. Vieira coming short. Pull it now into Neymar. This is where he's dangerous, using the body shape to try and buy a penalty there. Lucky it wasn't Ramos. Almost got away with it. Takes defends again there, but promising signs again in the attacking third of the pitch here for Levy. Well, and look at what a different game of FIFA this is in comparison to some of the games we've watched so far this tournament. Both players just straight up the other end, trying to hit the attack, trying to get the goals. They're both very attacking-minded players. They just want to put that ball in the back of the net. The Elastico there from Tex, I believe, might have just taken that. Actually, it was a free kick. The referees pulled that one back for. Well, that ball might have just strayed out of play. And Tex just loves to use this space in behind the fullbacks. You can see all the time he's looking for that ball down the line, trying to commit one of those players. And Ramos actually, this time, is on the receiving end of some, uh, some punishment from one of the players. Gives away the free kick. Yeah, I wouldn't say Mbappe's known for his strength, but he brought out some sort of Superman punch there. I don't really know what happened, but Ramos fell to the ground. But that's the pressure that Texas is applying. You can see he's dragging his fullbacks out. He's dragging his wingers out to make sure there's no time for Levy on the ball. Levy has to be so quick to think about every single pass. Because if he dilly-dallies on the ball, Tex is going to be there to tackle him, just as we see there. Yeah, he's reading the game so well at the moment. But speaking of reading the game, Patrick Vieira steps in at just the right time here for Levy. We're into stoppage time here at the end of the first half of our first leg. And Vieira now comes forward. There might be a chance for an equaliser. What a ball that is. Oh, it's beautiful. But Varane gets in the way just at the last second. The linesman's flag went up anyway. So it wouldn't off count it. But again, Levy showing us signs of what he can produce in those areas. And that's what he was doing during the semi-final, Mark. He was always looking for that one extra pass. Sometimes... He could have taken a shot a little bit earlier, but it was his persistence, his resilience to actually constantly go for that, constantly look for that extra pass, and it worked out. However, he's not been able to find a goal thus far, and Tex takes a 1-0 lead going into halftime. Yeah, just that early strike, right back at the start of the game from Tex to give him that lead. And even though those statistics don't say a lot of shots, and you would presume if you watch, just looked at those stats, not an exciting game, it has been end-to-end, -end, Dan. It's because both players aren't the type of player to just pull the trigger straight away. They always do look for uh, a little bit more something, something in the box, whether it's a drag back, whether it's a pass, whether it's a croquette or whatever you want to do, whether it is your tool, that's what they're looking for constantly. And eventually it's going to work out. An interesting uh, tactical change there from Tex as well. You saw him moving Cristiano Ronaldo out to that right attacking midfield position. Hmm, I wonder why. Break it down for us. <laughs> Probably for those back post headers, Mark. We've seen it all tournament long. Uh, Marcelo at left back is going to be very vulnerable. And if you can get those crosses in, Cristiano Ronaldo, 99 jumping, 99 head in accuracy. He's going to be banging them in all day. Yeah, we saw it in the last game that we saw on broadcast as well. Two headers at that back post from Cristiano Ronaldo. And he is now in an advanced position on this right-hand side. He's got around the back of his man as well. Two fake shots, drives it back across goal. Couldn't find the man in the middle. But Ronaldo already showing what he can do now on that right-hand side of the diamond. Pull it now into Neymar. Tex looking dangerous once more. Showing the variations of the croquetta as well. He can change direction so many different ways and shift your body weight. Vieira now drives a pass in, but well defended again by Levy. And I have to keep saying it, Dan, because there's not many people who can defend this kind of attacking play from Tex. Yeah, and some people maybe would have been expecting Tex to really take advantage of Levy here and how maybe he's approached games in the past in this tournament but he's really shown that he can actually go to toe to toe with the best in the world and he really is showing that the skill gap even though Tex has shown throughout the majority of tournaments he is leagues above everyone else in terms of results on the day anyone can take a game to him approaching the hour mark now in our first leg one goal still the difference between the two players as Tex now comes forward once more. A little bit of space here for Hullet to move into. Tex more than happy to take advantage of that. Great little pass around the corner. Oh, nine looking for that run of Mbappe. But one thing that stood out for me, down so far, for all of the 
the hype we were talking about, attacking play and attacking finesse from both these players. It's been the defensive display that's been so impressive. It's the patience that both of them have in defense. You can see that Levy isn't straight away diving in with any of his players. He's waiting for Tex to make a, kind of a, a through ball or a pass that he can then jump on and he can try and intercept. That's when he chooses his moment. So they're both just very clever with how they approach the game defensively. Here's Levy then. First real chance he's had to get forward in this second half. And Mbappe goes past one. Nice tight dribbling from him. Pull it with the drag back. Look for the pullback. After the little skill move. Couldn't find his man and... You can see Tex is always aware that the extra pass is in the lockup from Levy. Ronaldo now, the little flick over his head to buy a bit of space. Neymar goes past one. Pull it with the space. Great ball inside. Oh. Just couldn't reach that one, R9. And De Gea will gleefully grab that one. And it's almost like both of them are just trying to pass the ball into the net at the moment. And I say at the moment because eventually they will start hitting them from outside the box. It does come into play. You will start to see crosses coming in as well. It's about kind of a little bit of repetition, getting your opponent used to how you're attacking and then suddenly surprising them with something new a little bit later on in the first leg. Neymar there, aggressive into the space and finds Mbappe now on this left-hand side. Turns back onto that right foot, flicks it up. There is Cristiano Ronaldo, he wins the header. And that was that little tactical change from Tech showing that he's got oh. some extra things in the back of his locker. The mistake though from Levy momentary breaking conversation almost gifted a goal there to Tex and I don't blame him for hitting it there as well it looked like he was maybe gonna be able to steal a second goal away Levy definitely has to be careful with that just trying to rush the ball out from the back and you can see it's probably because of frustration zero shots on goal at the moment for Levy he just hasn't been able to get that ball into the positions he's used to be getting in the tournament and that really just highlights how well Tex has been defending. I mean, again, he has had opportunities to, to strike it on goal. Yes. It's not like, you know, he's been camped inside his own half here. It's just looking for that super high percentage chance to put away. Maybe this is it. Ronaldo into Kante. Varane makes the tackle, though. And it's just that final pass that's missing at the moment, that last piece of the puzzle. And it's because Tex is just making it too difficult for him. He's making sure that he, well, Tex knows. That's what he does. He reads his opponent. He knows that Levy's going to be going for that extra pass. So maybe Levy needs to switch things up and just hit one early to try and catch Tex off guard. It might be the way he gets an equalizer here. Ramos then wins the ball back for Levy. And there is space for Eusebio to get into here. Neymar goes back inside instead. Kante, look at the space out on this left-hand side now for Marcelo. Levy down by one hit. Needs a goal to tie this. Grand final up on the Xbox. Maybe this is the opportunity. He finds his way through to Eusebio. Is he going to hit it? He does. But De Gea gets a leg on it. Turns it behind for a corner. And that's why De Gea's in so many sides. He gets down quickly and he stops those shots. Ronaldo now inside the box. Drag back from him. Make it to Eusebio. There is a man over here. And Mbappe was trying to get him behind his man. But Varane couldn't find the pass. Even with his incredible short pass in statistics on his team of the year for I am. The door was once again just slammed shut at the last moment. But eventually, one of these passes is going to break through. He is so persistent in his gameplay here, Lev. We saw the same thing in the semi-final. He's going to keep trying it here. And Tex, for once, just got a little bit desperate defensively there. Just dived into a tackle. Maybe he didn't need to. He gets away with it. Now he can go up the other end. 83 minutes on the clock here. And it's going to be possession actually turning back over to Levy here. So he's got a chance to go forward once more. And Tex showing a little bit of frustration on his player cam there as well as he's given the ball away a couple of times. A couple of attacks that he has given away. And usually we'd expect him to have kind of perfect attacking play style. Neymar then finds Yasebio inside the box. Neymar gets it back. It's beautiful. Oh, but the goalkeeper movement from Tex is superb. Absolutely insane to make that call in such a split second there from Tex. Ramos gets the ball back, lays it across the hole. He's doing everything he can to find an equaliser here, Levy. Just cannot get through this solid defence of Tex. One more opportunity maybe towards the end of this game. And what we often say is champions, they can win games where they're not playing so well. I definitely wouldn't say that Tex isn't playing well here. However, he does look uncomfortable. He's not dealing with Levy's attack as well as maybe he would do against some other players in this tournament. Levy is really taking it to him here. And that's going to be a free kick as well. Big chance. Big chance here towards the end of the game for Levy to create something, to paint another one of his beautiful footballing pitches he's managed so far in this tournament. Marcelo. 
into Eusebio. Oh, it's beautiful. Neymar with the chance. Oh, and he's blocked his lines. What a save from De Gea. His goalkeeper movement again is just absolutely unreal. And then the pressure from the corner to just snuff anything oh, the out. The deflection, though, might give him another chance towards the end of the game, but that might be it. Tech sends it upfield. Marcelo has to deal with this. But who would have thought at the end of our first leg, the biggest talking point would be how good Tex has been at moving his goalkeeper. That was not a comfortable nor easy game for the best in the world. Tex was under a lot of pressure towards the end of that first leg. He won't want that to be the same here. Ronaldo versus Marcelo. Didn't time it green though. That was a, definitely a chance. If you time that green, that might have just nestled into the top corner and Tex will know that. But also Levy is going to be well aware now that that is something that Tex is going to be trying in this second leg. Already mixing things up then, F2's Tex. Starting off by throwing a cross into the box, trying to isolate Marcelo in that left-back position versus Ronaldo. Now Levy comes forward again, Neymar turning. Just waiting for those runs. Looking for that penetrative ball, and there it is, Ronaldo now at the back heel. But Hullet had got back into position there to help out the centre-backs. And he won it back, but Tex uncharacteristically gave it away there. Just for a moment before retrieving possession, but that's another wayward ball. And it's ping-pong between these two at the moment. And again, it's because Tex wants to get that ball up the pitch as quick as possible and try and take advantage of the fact that Levy's pressed up, because when Tex waits and when he bides his time, Levy's players, they just drop back and they get into those defensive positions, and it makes it very difficult to break down. So if you can hit just a, uh, whether it be a through ball or whether it be just a short pass, if you can break down that defense early, you're going to have a much better opportunity of scoring. Tex there with Marcelo, tries to squeeze it through there, and it was good pressure from Levy. There really wasn't many options for Tex as far as a comfortable pass was concerned there. Vieira snaps into the tackle, and Bappe tries to fight back. Both players just putting pressure on here. Ronaldo now. Neymar turns back onto his left foot. Eusebio into CR7. Neymar, beautiful again. And it's, oh, he's done everything right, but he's hit the post. Bappe trying to recycle here for Levy. Ramos gets it away. What else has Levy got to do? It wasn't even enough. The goalkeeper movement was there from Tex, but it looked like it was going to be enough to slot it away. But just not quite timed right, unfortunately, for Levy. And Mbappe now muscling Rio Ferdinand off the ball. The ball's going to fall here to Hullet as well. This will be cruel from Levy to go from one end, hitting that post, to then concede him, but he keeps his head here. He defends well. Shows that mental strength I was looking for. Now he's coming forward once again. Mbappe then tries to squeeze it through to Neymar. Hullet in position again, and Hullet's been doing some fantastic defensive work here for Tex. I mean, are we surprised at this point? The prime icon moments, Hullet and Vieira are just staples in so many teams. Yes, OK, we'll see a little bit of difference. Kante comes in here or there, but for Tex, he knows he can rely on both of those foot items to get the job done. And he positions them well as well. It's not like they're just doing the job for him. He's cutting the passing lanes. He's putting them in the right place at the right time. And then he's able to just do so well on the counter-attack, usually. First time shot then from Neymar. De Gea has to deal with that one and push it behind it. It was a similar situation to the only goal we've had so far in this tight. Corner there to Tex. Neymar, edge of the box, tries to look towards that back post. We've seen him whip out the El Tornado in those positions from the set pieces. This time just opted to whip it into the box. Vieira now decides to spread it wide to Marcelo. Brazilian finds another Brazilian here in R9. Good tackle, though, again from Levy. And this game really has been arguably one of the tightest games I've seen between Tex and an opponent in a while. But Tex now steals the ball away. Neymar finds Mbappe. Little dinked ball into R9. Again, no overcommitting here from Levy. It's going to be up to Tex to break him down. He can't find the pass to do so. And you're completely right. I mean, this is the tightest game we've seen Tex face so far. He's always scored at least four goals in this tournament against an opponent. So the fact that Levy has him at just one at the moment is a massive improvement. Oh, huge chance to hit it again there for Levy. And he doesn't take it. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's on his strong side. Just want to see him take that risk sometimes. Pull the trigger. Make the goalkeeper work.
And maybe that's all it's going to come to. It's going to come to like last ditch attempts, maybe in the latter stages of this second leg, where he has to hit it in those scenarios where he says, look, nothing's been working. Tex has been defending absolutely incredibly thus far. So maybe I have to take a risk. Maybe I have to just hit one. And then suddenly it's an equalizer and you're heading towards extra time. That's how close this tie is. Around seven minutes or so, plus stoppage time until half time then. And it is still poised beautifully between these two incredible players. Neymar coming under pressure. I think Mbappe will just know he won't actually get there. Thought his pace might help him out there, but it will be a throw in here to Levy. Maybe a chance or two before the referee's whistle does go for half time. Mbappe beats a man, and that's going to allow Hullet to have a little bit of space. Here is CR7. He turns oh, back. Wow. He just allows Ferdinand to get another tackle in. Rio Ferdinand. Tex has believed in him. He's kept him in his side, and he's done so much work there. And that was very impressive from Tex as well, to just lunge in at that right time. Yes, OK, Levy's turn. But that turn could have absolutely destroyed Tex if Tex wasn't switched on. Here we go. Then Neymar at the other end for Tex. Neymar flicks it up, sends it towards the back post. Ronaldo's there, and Ronaldo's up. 2-0 to Tex. We've said it a thousand times before, but Cristiano Ronaldo is the one that rises highest. And Tex, he made that decision to put Cristiano Ronaldo out there, and he's tested Levy a few times with that cross, but he's not been able to find that perfect ball. But eventually, he's able to do so, and it's not an El Tornado, it's just a flick up from Neymar. And of course, Marcelo's going to lose that header, as we've seen every single tournament as of late. But even though we've seen some players try and put Ramos in that place, you're just not going to be able to beat Ronaldo in the air. He is too strong. And in the moment, Tex now has this two-goal lead, and Levy's going to have to just fire up something here and really dig deep. Goal here before halftime will be huge. Mbappe can't get past that man. Rio Ferdinand, there is the halftime whistle. And the Tex train is... Coming in to pick up another trophy potentially here. Two to the good, Dan. And just 45 minutes left in game for him to close this one out. As it stands, if Tex were to get this victory, it would put him up to 9,045 <laughs> Global Series ranking points. 6,000 ahead of MS Dasari. Like, that is absolutely insane if we consider that MS Dasari is the current world champion. And also something to remind you, uh, a few viewers watching at home, at the moment, there's only four names on that Foot Champions Cup trophy. Of course, Tex has been on there several times now. He has a chance to be the first player to ever win two back-to-back -back Foot Champions Cups. If he loses, then we would have a new name on that trophy. Of course, we already had one new name in Dylan Mike the last time um, it, we, we saw a new winner get a Foot Champions Cup. But Tex, he just looks like he's going to be breaking yet another record if he can carry on this fine form through this console final and then into the grand final. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable performance again from Tex, and we say it so much, but you can't give a man who is constantly breaking records enough plaudits. The records speak for themselves, but there's one man on this stage who's looking to cause this upset now. 45 minutes left in our Xbox grand final. In the David versus Goliath story, for David to step up and make something magical happen. Interesting substitution with Kante coming on as well, just for a little bit more speed in the middle of the pitch. Maybe a little bit more aggression for Levy, but he's got to be careful if he gets aggressive. He's going to open himself up at the back. And that's going to be a free kick for Tex as well. And one thing I've always credited Tex for is his creativity from set pieces. Let's see if he's got anything special here. See if he looks to pick out someone like Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe Sergio Ramos is going to get up to win a header. Maybe Rude Hullet. So many options here. Neymar stood over the ball then. Does just whip it in, and it's Ronaldo who's under it. He wins the header. Vieira win the second ball, and Hullet is there, and Hullet's going to finish. The set piece pays off. Tex is now three to the good, and it's looking like it's going to be yet another Xbox championship to the phenomenon. And I'm not sure if it exactly went to plan, but yeah, okay, it was creative. He found Cristiano Ronaldo. He knew Ronaldo was going to win that header. Thankfully, Vieira was waiting, and then even more thankfully, Hullet was there just to slot that one away. But yeah, now this is going to be incredibly hard for Levy to get back into things. The fact that he hasn't been able to get as many shots away as we're used to seeing from him, I'm really concerned for how he's going to approach 
this last portion of the game. It's going to have to be tactical changes. It's going to have to be formational changes as well for him. He has to throw everything at Tex. Even though it's been the best tournament we've ever seen from Levy. I mean, it's his first tournament at a live event. He'll still want to be reaching a grand final. Well, has the Dutchman got his locker then? He's coming forward now from the restart. A goal here, he gives himself a chance. Neymar just muscled off of it. A begin by Rio Ferdinand. We talk about irreplaceable players. It seems like Texas decided that Rio Ferdinand is that man for him. It's just his positional ability. It's just he's in the right place at the right time. He's very quick as well. Yes, OK, he's not as quick as prime moments Maldini. But if you can trust your players, and if you're used to how they play, you're going to be feeling very comfortable in the game. Here's Ronaldo then for Levy. Another good tackle, though, comes in this time from Rafael Varane. But a little mistake here from Tex, but it will be pulled back here by the referee. And you can see, I think Tex realizes, just focusing up now, knows that he's only got around 30, 40 minutes in this game to just hold on and just claim another title. And that's been the difference that we've seen from Tex. He's still unbeaten so far in the tournament. Potentially, this could be his third unbeaten tournament of the season. And I can't remember many players that have done that in recent times. Ronaldo, chance to hit it. You saw the movement there from Tex. I'm pretty sure that even if that would have beaten the defender there, De Gea was in position from Tex to save that one. And that's how Tex approached this tournament as well. He came into it saying, hey, I could be one of the first players to ever have three unbeaten tournaments. I could be the first player to have back-to-back -back Foot Champions Cup victories. What a ball that is. Mbappe's managed to beat Ramos as well. He goes across oh. goal. Didn't time it green, though, and he's just going to drag that chance wide of the upright as we hit the hour mark. Tex is always setting himself new aspirations. He's setting himself new goals. He's finding ways almost to make it interesting at this point because he is leagues above everyone else in terms of Global Series ranking points. The real question for Tex is going to be, can he get it done in a grand final? Oh, another chance here for Levy again. Looking for that extra pass to get a clear-cut opportunity. And we need to give... One thing we're not talking about enough, Dan, is the fact that Texas managed to keep a clean sheet so far against one of the most impressive attacking players in the tournament. Yeah, we've not seen any clean sheets for Tex so far. And he might be looking for another hit in this tournament. He's always considered oh, no. at least one, but that is a gift. And that is going to be the final nail in the coffin for Levy. You hate to see it. <laughs> what is that? But if you make a mistake against Tex, he is going to pounce. Oh dear, oh dear. Not a moment that Levy's going to want to remember. And Tex will gleefully pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. And Mbappe will be credited with the goal. But for all of the fantastic football and great goals we've seen so far this tournament, I think that one might be in the blooper reel. And that's a shame because that's going to be the one that Levy will, will remember as well. There's still a little bit of time left. But unfortunately, with the way that Tex has been playing this tournament, the way and the ability he's had of closing out games, of keeping possession, of just starving his opponent of possession as well, I think we know, I think he knows, I think even Levy knows that this is Tex on his way to another grand final. Here's R9 then with a chance to finish. And he absolutely buries it. You can probably hear it. There's a shout across the stage from Tex. He knows how close he is to being your Xbox champion here in Singapore. And I said the most goals he scored at a tournament this season was in Foot Champions Cup number two when he had 53. He's just matched that. He is up there now. He is dominating the competition and he's still got a grand final left as well. It has been a great performance from Levy. He's exceeded his own expectations. It's for his first tournament, Mark. His first tournament of the season, and he's made his impact. He's secured himself 850 Global Series ranking points. He climbs to 1,013, which puts him around, what, 20th on the leaderboards? That's enough to get to playoffs. It's been an amazing tournament for him. Here's Neymar for Levy. Tries to find another pass, but every single... I think that he's trying as far as passing plays is concerned. Little extra balls, short passes, dragging players out, looking for balls in behind. Tex is reading it, and Tex is defending it absolutely superbly. 5-0 on aggregate. So rare that you will see 
A player keep a clean sheet, and now Kante has the chance to maybe find a goal, and no! Sometimes it's just not your day. And uh, I think it's uh, a famous Richard Buckley saying, I think it was a cha-cha slide. Oh, it was a save from De Gea. Oh, It was the goalkeeper movement Tex from Tex. can't believe it. But Tex knows that this is just his game. It's his tournament. It doesn't matter what Levy does. There's just something to deny him from that goal. And is there something special towards the end of the game here from Tex? Couple of step overs from Mbappe. It'll flip flap. It'll Three, have to go four. time. Oh, and he can't. Oh. It's Ronaldo. He's done it. He is a magician. And, and he's Singapore. It roars. He's just smiling. He looked across and he gave a little smile. He tried to replicate his goal in Atlanta for Elasticos. He hit three. And yep, yeah, okay, the deflection. The same goal again. Just bounds away, but he finds a fifth goal. And now this is his highest scoring tournament this season. What else can you say, Dan? What else can we say about this player? He is the special one. I'm wondering whether Steven Gerrard's going to make an appearance. I think at this point it's academical. Kante coming forward. I want to see Levy maybe get a consolation goal here. Tex has been entertaining everyone in the crowd here. Everyone at home, I'm sure, is entertained as well. Ronaldo now down this right-hand side. He puts it across goal, but Mbappe forces the save from De Gea. But just a few moments left in this game. Is there time for yet another piece of magic? And you can see it in Tex's eyes. He wants to just pull something out. He wants to get that memorable moment, that highlight that we'll all be talking about for years to come as well. Oh, Neymar flicks it up, forces another save from De Gea. Another and corner here for Tex. It's just an exhibition match now. Neymar then toying with his man. Five-star skills. Let's see if he uses all of them. Fortunately not. Bullet gets the tackle in and for Levy. It has been somewhat of a lesson here in the grand finals of what to expect from the best in the world. He's done everything he can. But that man on your screen, he is the special one. F2 Tex does it again. Ladies and gentlemen, your Xbox champion here in Singapore is Tex. A one tournament wonder he was once labeled and how he has answered any critic. There's so much conversation at the moment. Is he the best FIFA player ever? He's certainly up there and he certainly has the possibility to be crowned as just the best in the world. But commiserations to Levy. He had one heck of a tournament as well. His first ever live tournament of the season. He secures himself 850 Global Series ranking points and we'll be seeing that name again. And before he leaves the stage, I want everyone who's in the arena right now just to put your hands together for Levy. It has been a fantastic performance from him at his first tournament. Certainly something he should be proud of. But Tex is the man we have to talk about moving into our cross consoles final now for a chance to pick up yet another trophy, Dan. And there is a little bit of pride as a British man to see a British player succeeding. And Tex really is just dominating the competition. Paul and the rest of the guys, what do you think? Yeah, I echo that sentiment as well. Um, uh, first of all, congratulations to Tex. Another championship in the Xbox category. And also, uh, congratulations as well, not commiserations to Levy for reaching that final. I don't think anyone could have pulled off any better against a man in form like that against Tex. It was a wonderful display of top world-class FIFA. I wonder what our panel members made of it as well. Um, Buckley, you've got one right. And finally, that's the got first. A prediction that's right. the first. Yeah, it's a bit of a roller coaster getting there, but you've you've, you've got one. <laughs> yeah, it really was a roller coaster of emotions um, <laughs> that Tex put me under there. That game was never a six nil. That was not a six nil scoreline. No. Um, Levy were in that for the majority of the first leg and the second leg, but it was just the fact that whenever he seemed to get the chance to score a goal, Tex either had a man in the way or. I don't want to be very tired. First leg. Definitely. I mean, I feel very bad for Levy. Of course, he made it all the way here. The only difference in the first leg was a goal immediately at the start of the uh, of the game from from Tex. And after that, I think we all agree that it was Levy who was the better player in the game. He missed some chances that I don't think Tex would miss, and that's what made the difference. Mm. Levy missed a lot of chances in the first game, where I think it was his fault. Whereas the second leg, he missed some chances where he was massively unfortunate yeah i mean this goal here this third goal 
after that, it's yeah. it's really yeah, academic, it, isn't and it? I did about call what the score it. was Second be. half, second yeah. leg, that's when yeah. it goes downhill against Tex, especially if you're chasing your game. And you 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 lose hope after after missing so many chances, especially against Tex. You miss chance after chance, and then then yeah. things like this just rub. Like, salt in the wounds. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, it, it, it is, isn't it? It's just it is salt in the wound after that. You're already three 0 down. You don't need something like that happening. Yeah, especially after the 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 last game that you yeah. played and all the chances you've missed, and this game on the saves that the hair has made and the the blocks that defender have made, whether text controlling or the AI. You, you just feel, you can see it, you can feel bad for Levy, but I think he did himself proud. What I will say, though, is that uh, after that, we got a we got a bit of an exhibition. You are welcome, bro. Yeah, this game is the good. the last couple of goals. So, uh, I so, said this so one was like, oh, that's the, that's the cherry on top of the icing on top of the cake. Enjoyed. I'm not quite sure what the next goal was then. But the sort of like hundreds of thousands. Probably it's a, it's a on glitter top. on top, yeah. Yeah, because it was ridiculous. Uh, before that, we thought we were going to get a last goal. This should have been a goal. I don't even know how that stayed out in the end. It was amazing. I mean... You we'll can see Levy. Though. You can see Levy. Yeah, I think you can see Tex as well. Yeah. Tex, when that happened, uh, he was the cross because there was a save of uh, the hair save. I think, I think uh, after one, one hour, the hair save the shot right after that. Yeah. And Tex, I, I think we will see the 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 image of him just yeah, leaning the, the back and smiling because he knew he was just like, he, okay. He, lady he luck himself, is with me. he himself, yeah. he was in disbelief. I think yeah. we're gonna get uh, Tex on uh, on the camera in, in a few seconds. I think he will say it himself that he couldn't believe what he was seeing on his screen, and of course. It was it a, yes, I think he tried to replicate what he did against Tuga in yes. Atlanta, yeah. and it almost worked out perfectly, except it was the, the the bit of fortune that he got from this rebound that ended up to CR7. Of course, timing it on the volley <laughs> was good, but Tex himself knows, of course, it was a d deserved win yeah. with very small margins, but it was just these little margins that all went Tex's way just made Levy feel very, very bad for losing that game. Yeah, um, uh, uh, what do you say after that? Well, I mean, the, the commentary team—they were saying, you know, what, what more do we, what more do we say about this?